So you want to grab the <clears throat> salmon? Close my eyes. There we go. Pick the salmon, salmon, I think salmon. it is. Yes. Wow. Oh, look that at is me. a good looking fish. First yeah. thing, we're going to fill up the, fi fill up the yep. fish. Alright, so let's do something with you. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, make me, put me to work. Oh, look at that. Yes, and I'm going to give you the special glove as well. Special glove. Oh, goodness, I feel like a knight in King Arthur's court. <laughs> you should take it up and slap you across the face, Paul Foreman. Oh, bring it on. Alright, oysters. Yes. How do so, I do this? you go through here, so you just go in and up. Yep. All the way in the back and just. And then over to just that it, way. Yep. And then you just flip it. Flip you it. flip the oyster. Oh, so you flip it around the other side. Yeah. And you get that's the, where it looks, the curvy side up. Yeah. That's where oh, it looks so nice and pretty. So when you get them pretty. in the restaurant, they don't actually come like that out of the shell. You flip them. Yeah. Well, what is the reason for that? Uh, because this is the nice, the pretty side up, and you oh, can see the mass. Yeah. See? Yep. So just through here. Yep. You don't have to rush. Just straight. Take your time. Yep. Deep breaths. Just be at okay. one oh, that's with been the boiling. oyster. Beautiful. You like it? Beautiful. Oh, thanks, Chef. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yep. I have movement. Good so movement. And then flip, flip that over. Flip. So the pretty Beautiful. side comes up. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's that's, I would like for you to slice it because mm. we're going to have it for sashimi, so it has to be a small piece. Just take a little bit of the belly fat off. Okay. So I cut yep. through here. Yep. Mm. And those parts we use it for other um, dishes. Beautiful. That's nice. Slice so two of each, so six slices will do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. You like that? For the first time, for it's the first time, it's really time shaka, good. Isn't it? really Look good. at you. I'm shocked. You're a no one so. So get sucked. If you want to get sucked, what else is this? There you go. The uh, abalone. Right, so what are we doing with the abalone? Something really fun, taking out of the cell. So I'm going to use. Oh, I'll be shocked. Let's uh, go. Oh dear. Oh dear. So you're literally cutting the head off. I know it sounds pretty brutal. But you decapitate the it, abalone. It quick, is what it is. Quick and easy. And best way to go. Yeah. Like They're quite pro, large too. protesters at the front. Yeah. Behind yeah. the cell. So you lift it in front. Yes. And all I do is... Detach it from the shell. Yep. Just remove with your hand, with your finger, just around the uh, cell. Okay. It's going to take me about. Uh, um, uh, I can't so, do that. As you do can the see, that's, that's a lot. Wow, I that's can't. a lot in there. Right, so you got the abalone, and we don't really use all of it. So you turn it around, and you just pull, pull that bit off. Would you mind getting yeah, I, the I, blue I, eye I mean, done? I'm, I'm excited. For me? Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm loving what you're doing, but yeah, I'm getting a little bit cold and bald here. <laughs> now we're getting into business. Yep. So this is a blue so eye. So that's the blue eye. So this is actually boys. caught. From the Muir's boat, which yes, is called Diana, which is Diana. the grandmother of uh, Will. So, wow, it's, it's, it's the, the freshest... epitome of Tasmanian fish. Yes, this it one, is. Isn't it? it is. It is. It's wow. beautiful. So while while Paul is doing that, I'm finishing off the abalone. So I literally pull that bit off, and that's pretty much what it is. And see, if you can dice for me, so you get that middle part, which is the bone. Beautiful. So that. Take that out. Yep. Take that out and do nice little portions for us. Look at that colour just quickly. It's just inexpensive. It's sort of like a pearl to it, isn't it? Isn't that it's beautiful? So that fresh. is a really Literally, good it, sign of freshness. It was swimming yesterday. Oh. Well, it's a circle oh. of life. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to look after it's a us. Circle of life. It is a circle of life. Hey. How's that, Chef? Is that all right? Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so, um... I'm going to need um, cubes, about two oh, okay. fingers, so one, two, three, that's for three of us, that's perfect. Okay, so beautiful. Mm. I'll make them super sexy. Let's put it all in a plate so it looks more organised. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep. I should use the other bit as well. Of the, uh, yeah, beautiful. just to actually hold the uh, cell up. Beautiful. Wow. So you get a mini medium sized pot. <laughs> so <laughs> Did right. you say that's a medium sized pot? <laughs> it is. For a, for a oh, for commercial, a commercial kitchen, kitchen. right. Yes. Oh. Yes. So we're going to need all the bones in there. Right, so everything goes in. Salmon is about to go in. The blue eyes Do you is want me to in already. The skin? Yes, please. While Paul is in there, I'm just going to put a few ingredients in there. Leeks, go celery. celery. Nasty. This is the Greek in here, look at that. This is it. Like this 17 is it. cloves of garlic. Fantastic. It is, it's going it to taste is. amazing. So, um, yes, we've got uh, onions, quarters, and chopped big, big bits of garlic. Absolutely. Um, and then we pass something with the. I'm really, really, really big fan of 
coriander. Those goes in and then fill it up with water. Yeah, I can do that. Yep, beautiful. In, done. Done, heads in. That's for later, so we're gonna clean this up and then lay on the tray okay. with the parchment wash paper, it. a little bit, yes, a little bit wash. Yes, Are we ready for water? Yes, water is going. Put it a little. Beautiful. In the sink. Where is it? In the sink. All right. I asked you to ask her in Greek, where's the water? She went in the sink. Ah. Where's the sink? The traditional area for yeah. where the water is yes, out yes, of the yes. tap. Beautiful. So what's next? So that's goes, cleaning up. Yes, cleaning up, and that goes in a tray with a parchment paper okay. and a little bit of salt. Beautiful. Uh, another parchment paper on top and another tray. Opa. So that goes in the oven for oh, an hour. Geez. Beautiful. Uh, 160 degrees. So we're going across when uh, the stove is. Yep. Uh, so you can leave it for now till here, and then we can pass oh, it on. I'll get it ready over there. That's okay. Yep. Right. Beautiful. See you, John. See you later, mate. So we're taking one of these magic bags. Magic bags? Yes. Why are they magic? Uh, because they do all the cooking for us. Is and they really? Yes. Magic so bags? Did you just buy them at the supermarket? Yes. No. Are they, are they next to the Chuck Super one? Go. So uh, soy sauce is in. It's enough. What's that? That's uh, sesame oil, which is one of my favorite. Yes. Okay. I like so a few drops it because it's strong. A yep. few drops. And then uh, about two spoons of coriander. Beautiful. Because coriander is tasty. And this is again the story. How much ginger? Oh, Just go for all it. Of it. All oh, of it. yeah. I love ginger. All Beautiful. Right. Oh, wow. So oh, wow. That way it's all done and then Yum. you just mix it. Mash it around. Mas massage it, as I say. I'm going to go first in the vacuum machine and then we're going to head over there. Would you like me there. to do that for you? Oh, that would be lovely. Oh, worry, Thanks. Chef. Pleasure. Beautiful. So, removing those items. <laughs> Where is it, oh, Chef? Oh, from the other side. <laughs> I know. Yeah, welcome to my kitchen. Everything is everywhere. Oh, beautiful. That's awesome, Paul. Thank Good you. Job. Yeah, that's great. So it just all goes in, yeah, and then that. that way it goes in the water bath. The oyster mushrooms. So again, small. This is the way it gets cooked off. Small pieces. Yep. That goes in the stock too. It gives a really that nice the air theme. Well. Earthy flavour. With the stock, after we're going to create that form, and it's beautiful. What about beautiful. the stalks? Everything goes in. These Everything are called manitares. Oh, manitaria. Man yeah. manitaria. Uh, oyster mushroom. Yes, yeah. yes. So we've got our uh, bologna walking, we've got our seafood, and then we can do we can do our uh, f um, our scent, our edible scent. All right. So you get your maltodextrin in. Yep. Good anchovy oil. Anchovy so, oil? Yes, anchovy oh. oil. So people out there going, oh, anchovy. Oh, the flavour of the but ocean. They can change and they can have you know, sesame oil, they can have any oil, they want lemon oil. So what have you got there? Is that uh, nori? Uh, no, it's actually the uh, seaweed that we had earlier. Ah, they, yes. So they were come, it's been bleached. So yeah, that's white bait. So here in Tazi is a small window every year that it gets the wild bait. Uh, so what I do here is actually deep fried and have, yes. I love it. Nice I can eat this stuff. Oh and then I've got some coastal heads. So that's uh, solbus. Solbus. So, solbus. So it's literally next to the beads. And you get that. And when I fry it, it's actually nice crispy. So and this is that fried? Yes, yes. Can you eat it? Yes. And it's actually nice and salty, so you get... It is too! I've got the, um, the broth that we make earlier with all this stuff and mushrooms mm -hmm. and everything in there. So all this is done and, you know, pass it through the sieve. And then I've got my uh, butter and some less side. So we'll use a hand Lovely. blender to do it. So that goes in. Yeah. Just gonna put it... And again, it's delicate. It's yeah. not over the top. No, it's not. It's very subtle, isn't it? You mm. want all that balance in there, don't you? You want it to, you know, the, yeah. the flavours are clean. Is yeah. it like a ta tablespoon of, oh no, you Yeah, spoon. leave it. No, I'm not putting all. Salted, unsalted? Unsalted. Spoon of um, soy. Yep. That goes in. Yep. And then I'm going to go from the other side of the bench, which is um, my hand blender. Alright, so that's done. And then... Yeah. I think we look pretty good of start plating. First thing we have to do is putting the uh, fish in the water. Yes. To get it cooked off. Yes. So we have to put it in the vacuum. Lemon oil and a little bit of salt. Just the three pieces into one bag? Yes, please. There's the three of us. 
three Just the three of us. Yeah, that was terrible. We can make it if we try. Just the three of us. Beautiful. Yeah, that'll do. Done. A little bit of a squirt. Yep. That's enough. Yep. And You're happy with that? Salt. A little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Salt. Ha ha ha. Now we're talking. Okay. Done. Into the water. What yes, please. On 40 degrees. Yeah, so, right. can you get me the abalone, please? Get that. Done. Beautiful. Mm. It looks delicious. See your black. Now, I want to see how you take this out there without spilling everything. Mm. Beautiful. So you reach in and grab it. Uh, okay. Yep. See? That's it. You give the bag to Paul for to get rid of it. And then I'll just figure out what to do. Great. And then what we do is slice it really thin. Next. Right, so we got everything and then I'm going to get them as a semi. Um, that way I can have everything ready. Yeah. That means we are good to play. We've got all our ingredients are ready to go. Are you guys ready to play with me? Am um, I ever? Look, look at a little bit of presentation, Paul Foreman. And look at that. Whoa. Something you prepared like, earlier. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah, one of it. Done. Yes. yes. All right. Done. Shall we so follow your lead? I've got a tweezer. <gasps> a tweezer? Paul size tweezer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a yeah, size. look at that. Size, so is That's that. serious. Now we're talking. Now, and this is why God gave us iPhones to take pictures before we destroy it. Oh, yes. Yep. Here we go. The memories. All right. So we go to the sand. The sand? Yep. So we want to keep this side clear, clean, nice and tidy. Ah, uh, okay. Because everything else we go from that side. Look at you. So, I've got my oyster. Yeah. All lined up. And then the abalone. So, I've got this salmon, which I did it on ponzu sauce, yeah. which literally mm. eats um, citrus, um, vinegar, a uh, bit of soy. Oh, so, I get yeah. two. You've got the oyster happening. Yep, oyster happening. Mm -hmm. Right. Two because one slice is never enough. My beach is done. So we got our seaweeds, the wakame that's been cooked. Between just in the gap. Just standing up. And then we got our uh, skin. Oh, so yeah. is the, the thing is to keep it up high to give that a bit of volume. Okay. Cooking so is tell fun. Us, tell us through service though, it wouldn't be like this, would it? No. Nah. There would be a little more pressure. A little oh, bit more. Good Lord. Like it's, a it's time, is it time consuming funny. this? But it's so tasty and so good. So I put, let's say, seven, eight this. So that's done. And then keep garnishing with a few leaves. Oh, you know, I haven't put any of this um, salt bush stuff. Yes. So that just goes anywhere? Yeah, just a leaf at a time. Again. And again, you just line them up. Just, so it gives it high volume. Yeah. So literally you just break it through your fingers and just pub it because it's so powerful. Well, you look at that. Yeah. Right, Beautiful. next, because this is these are very naked plates still. I'm still seeing yes. an Half anna pay. Halfway there. But, oh, Get, so getting on that. So up the while we are here, Paul is going to grab the uh, blue eye. Put it on a plate, bring yep. it over. So it stays nice and hot. And the blue eye's no. been boiled in those bags. Yes. What was in the bag with the blue eye again? I had to sell them lemon oil and salt. That was it. That was it. That's yes. it. That's it. Here you are, right, chef. Beautiful. You ready for it? We'll take it. Oh. Oh. In the middle. Right. Where's that going? To the end. Marquela. Oh, Here. just ducking it in there. Whoa. Ducking it in there. Lovely. All right, I've got my spoon. The foam is it's ready. Very foamy. It's really nice foam. It's got Thanks, Paul. That's some good <laughs> foam. It's no problem. You give good right. foam, Paul. So Paul, you right? ready for the waves? Yeah. Beautiful. Or waves. Flotsam and jetsam. Oh yeah, look, this is like the foamy bit at the edge of the beach when the water That's foams. It. Yes. Beautiful. That's it. Voila. That's it. As the Greeks say. So the wow. Voila. Are we guys? All right, oh, yeah. okay, this yeah. is it. Absolutely. Uh, can we go? I you think we're the restaurant. Go. It's my, I'm oh, the your yeah, time. Sir. Oh. Shall I take mine? Get, no, okay? I'll do it. Get so out you, of my you, kitchen. You sure? Ooh, go. Get out of my kitchen. All right. Okay. These aren't places. Small islands. Oh, I'm, I'm come, hungry. Can come, mm -hmm. back. come back. Come right, back. Do you need right, a hand? Right, yeah, yeah, do you need a hand, hand job? It you didn't made. last long. I yeah. just realised it's got mass, they're massive plates with rocks on them and shells and another massive plate. Perfect. There you go, I was Michaela. just worried I wasn't going to get mine back. That's you the big one. So this is how it looks? This is how it looks. Yep. Done. I love it. Beautiful. 
Fantastic. So thank you so much, Michaela, for inviting us into your kitchen. It's been an incredible experience. And uh, just judging by the plate that we have in front of us, um, I can tell that you actually know what you're doing. You're a very talented chef. So thank you very much. Like we say in Greece, Estine Yamas. Sien. Sien. Cheers. Mm. Good. Ooh. That's beautiful. Yeah, what is this? It's a mm. Frogmore Creek mm. um, reserve Chardonnay. It's beautiful, delicious. Nice. That'll nice. go down well. Mm. And that, you, you always white wine with seafood? Is that right? Mostly, yeah. Yeah? Because I have that acidity and... And it's cleansing and, really and fresh well. yeah. and it's alive. And fine. beer. Mm. Can beer beer can definitely come in, so I think we've got the w Berg's Wild River. Yes, we have. Cheers. So we might try that Cheers. for a second. Oh, sorry. Right. It's just customary. <laughs> oh, Copper went to the wine nicely. Good joking from your accent, you weren't born here like me in Australia. So uh, you came from. How long have you been in Australia? I've been in Australia and especially in Italy for the last four years. Four years. Mm. But you were born. In Greece, in, in Greece. Uh, Athens, in Piraeus, where is let's say the port, the biggest the port, port in Athens. So you grew up with us and you learned, mm -hmm. take us through your journey then from cooking, mm -hmm. um, while I eat, uh, <laughs> from cooking, um, <laughs> learning to cook at we'll, home. We'll, we'll tag team. You can eat as well, <laughs> don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, dig yeah, in, we folks. should it's dig quite, in, definitely. But you started, when where, where did your love of food and cooking start? Through mum and, and, and yeah, yeah, grandma? Um, yeah, 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 mostly grandmother. So um, I grew up uh, with her mostly while mum was working. So watching her cooking and we eat together and then it comes all to, to learning more about, you know, Greek cuisine and mm. Greek techniques and Greek recipes and having books and try to do it myself and you know with the observation of my grandmother or Sorry. mom giving me instruction from the phone while she was working so it starts somewhere oh, wow. like that. You wow. bring it up at work and you go, mom I'm doing yes. this, it's not working. How do we do lentil soup? How do <laughs> these yeah. sort of things. So yeah, so it starts from there and then eventually when I finish my normal school um, around 80 years old, I started um, being, being applied for a cooking school. Mm -hmm. So I stayed there for two years while I was working at the same time. And that starts, you know, intriguing me even more to learn more about, you know, a bit of French cooking, a bit of, you know, British cooking, a bit of in right. general international cooking. Mm -hmm. And then while I was working in French restaurants and, you know, I'm working in the second base, which has one Michelin star. And then the first place has two Michelin stars, so that was the first, you know, really wow. into into cooking that's, and that's bringing up the standards, bringing up techniques and everything, you know, especially with fish techniques. And then after I left, um, around 26 years old, I left Greece, mm. and then I went in uh, London in UK, mm. and then I stayed there for four years. So I did a um, three-star Michelin um, wow. up in uh, the Fadak. That's. How old the inspiration oh, that comes? Yes. Wow. For that duck is it the famous that stuff. duck. Mm, three missing stuff. Hest oh, Heston. Do you look a little bit yeah. like actually? What happened after Heston? How long were you there at the um, fat duck? Yeah, close to a year, and then I moved to um, uh, Gordon Ramsay. So one Gordon missing stuff. Yeah, in, under Petrus in Knightsbridge. Mm. So I stayed there for a year and a bit. Goodness. Um, wow. It was a good, good experience and a lot of. You know, Good. learning, learning. Built, built your character. Build my character. Mm -hmm. Build, you know, how much you can do under pressure and mm -hmm. time-wise, consistency, always, the, you know, standards are there, no compromising again. It just builds up a lot of... Well, great. Anyway, so you work in these fantastic we're restaurants yeah. around the world with mm. these incredible world-leading and innovative chefs. Yep. So how does Markella Kutalidi then make her way? How do we end up getting you here in... Tasmania, of all places. Mm. Where did you land here? And so what was your first job here? So, for, four years ago, we, you know, we were talking with two of my colleagues there, actually from Devonport. They, we met in um, London, in Royal Albert mm. Hall, while we were working, and conversation to conversation, and to say about the life balance here in Tasmania, the beauty of the place, all the beautiful produce. Mm. How, how amazing this place is. And I was like, wow, that sounds like a perfect place to be. So I was like, oh, I should take it out. It's been, you know, it's been four years in London. London is great for, you know, has all these positive things and it's like, you know, all these great yeah. restaurants to walk. Big city. But you, you kind of want to feel and do something different. 
So I was in that stage that I was like, oh, I should take it out and I feel like it's, it's another good move, mm. you know? Obviously living in Greece, going to London, and then I was like, that's another good move to do. So I was like, oh, I should take it out. Then we went, we came all together over here and, and then four years later, here I am, still loving it and wow. still enjoying and still loving the produce, as you can see, that's my showcase today. It's what I can source from newers, what I can source from local suppliers, local producers, uh, even local foraging, beach. even, yeah. you know, just on my days off, even going to do some coastal herbs and just brings the old memories of seaside and, you know, childhood and just brings everything all in the plate. So I represent today what I feel about Tazi. It's for me. Thank you for being part of Love Course. Um, we've uh, had an amazing time with you and we're really looking forward to coming back as a, as a, a paying guest, as a patron. Wow. Your shout. It's been, my, <laughs> why is it almost always my shout? Yeah, you're going to get what you pay for. This stuff costs a fortune. It's <laughs> a dollar. Yes, it was amazing. Thank you so much. Glad Thank you, you guys enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you. you.